dogs, cats, hamsters, goldfish, how we love our pets. They bring us so much joy and improve our mental health. Over lockdown, lots of us got a new cat or dog. So much so, we now have over 10 million cats in the UK and 13 million dogs. That's 600 million cats in the world and 900 million pet dogs. All of which is not great news for the environment. Everything has a carbon footprint. And the majority of it for our carnivorous pets, so the cats and the dogs, is their diet. So historically, they've been fed a very, very meat-heavy diet. Cats are obligate carnivores. Very, very difficult to get cats to incorporate vegetables and plant-based foods into their diet. Dogs, slightly easier to incorporate a more vegetarian, plant-based diet with them because they have evolved to have um, amylase in their gut, which is basically helps them to break down plant proteins. And same as for us with humans, with our own carbon footprint, if you have a diet rich in meat and dairy products, it's got a bigger carbon footprint. So that is the crux of, of the problem with pets and their environmental paw print. A country made up of cats and dogs would rank fifth in the world for meat consumption after Russia, Brazil, US and China. And every year, 49 million hectares of agricultural land, roughly twice the size of the UK, is used to make meat-based pet food. And it's getting worse. So we're humanising our pets massively anyway, and that has come out as well in this gourmet food. We feed them diets that you could actually eat yourself with the quality of meat that's in there. But with that, we're producing more food that's suitable for human consumption. And as we know with the environmental issues we've got in the world, we've got humans that can't eat food that's fit for human consumption. So when you get a diet that is rich in beef or lamb, that is fit for human consumption, you are effectively giving a huge um, carbon footprint heavy meal to an animal, which is quite happy with some offcuts of chicken or fish and some leftovers in most cases. If we're feeding meat-based diets, which are actually helping to degrade our environment, there are significant uh, external costs associated with that. We know that there's really large amounts of land use, water pollution, pesticides, fertilizers, and greenhouse gases being produced, which are unfortunately um, very much contributing to the current mass extinction event. There's lots of alternatives we could try to a meat-based diet for our pets, such as protein from plants, insect, yeast, or even lab-grown meat. And there's growing scientific evidence that supports the benefits of these new diets for our lovely pets. We studied more than two and a half thousand dogs and making it by far the largest study of this kind ever. And the dogs fed vegan diets were definitely healthier than those fed conventional meat-based diets. And so if people are really interested in doing the best they can, I think they should be looking at feeding a vegan diet, but make sure that it is nutritionally complete. Uh, and balance. So if you'd like to reduce the environmental effect of your dog and cat food, here's some things you could try. Buy cheaper pet food with a lower overall meat content. Don't treat your dog to human grade cuts of meat. And don't overfeed them. And if you're feeding your dog a vegan diet, make sure they're getting all the nutrients they need. All this food produces a lot of poop. In the UK, our dogs produce over 3,000 tonnes of it a day. That's equivalent to the weight of 250 double-decker buses every day. This is a potential disaster for both the environment and human health. When left on the ground, dog poo eventually breaks down and washes into our water supply, polluting our rivers and streams. It also carries bacteria, parasites and other diseases that can be transmitted to humans and other animals. So it's really important to make sure you pick up your dog poo when you're taking your dog out for a walk, even if it's in the middle of the countryside. Some of the parasites that cycle through dogs can also cycle through livestock. Um, and if you don't pick up the dog's poo, you can have a, a more of those parasites, which can then adversely affect the cattle, even if it doesn't adversely affect your dog. Let's look at how we can 
try and get the most appropriate way of disposing of that. So you could compost your dog poo, keeping it away from food producing plants and children. You could make sure that the poo bags that you're using are made from cornstarch or plant-based plastics and always make sure that they're disposed of properly. There's some really exciting in innovations coming out around dog waste. We've even seen some street lights that you can put your dog poo into a generator underneath and they can fire the street lights. So these amazing things are just gonna keep coming and coming. While rabbits and guinea pigs are happy munching the grass, our cats are natural born killers. In the UK, it's estimated that free roaming cats are responsible for 275 million prey animals being killed each year, which is, is a huge number and that will have an effect on our biodiversity levels here in the UK. And so just by having sort of 10 to 15 minutes a day of play with your cat, um, you can um, reduce the impacts of, of that pre predatory behaviour when the cats are out, because this is a natural behaviour that they need to exhibit in some form. So if you want to keep a pet, what's the best one to choose with the smallest environmental footprint? Coming in at number three are the small herbivores, those grass and seed eating, rabbits, guinea pigs and hamsters. At number two, spiders, particularly the tarantula. And at number one, the most sustainable pet of all is the tortoise. Just make sure you've factored in that they can live for over 50 years. Whatever you choose to do, it's not all or nothing. Any step you can take will contribute to the greater good. Small changes can add up to a greater whole. Thank you for watching the Skylark Originals. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'd love to make some more, so please like or subscribe below.